Hi, I'm Lulu. Welcome to my channel. I'm really glad you're here. So today was the day. My friend Bob came over to help me make these changes that I wanted to make to my van before my big road trip. Um, so I want to show you. It's so exciting. Well, one of the things um, I did on my own um, last week was I have a new cushion and a poster on top of the cooler. Come check it out. So here it is. This is the fabric that I picked. I decided that I was going to keep it a little bit more neutral uh, rather than introducing more color and more patterns in here. Uh, I, 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 I'm all for lots of different patterns, but, and this is a pattern, but I kind of wanted it to, to kind of tie in with the um, actual cooler. So that's why I picked gray. And I picked fleece because I thought that would really feel nice to sit on. And I picked um, a two inch foam from like Joanne Fabrics. Um, and I put it on and then I stapled it around the edges. Let me show you. See, I did it right on the very edges so that it won't interfere. I didn't want any fabric to come anywhere near here because I want this to really sit and seal inside the cooler. So I kept it right on, I kept all the staples on the edge. And then I covered this whole thing with tuck tape because it was a very fragile surface that was going to get all dinged up. And this has made it rough and tough. So there you have it. So this brought me a little closer to the ceiling because the other cushion was one inch. This is two, but I still have plenty of space. So when I sit in here, it's so cushy and so comfy, and I'm so grateful that this is going to work out perfectly. And I still have probably about an inch. I have about an inch, um, which is just plenty. As long as I can go like this, and I'm not hitting my head, and I don't feel my hair on the top, on the top of this on the roof, then I'm good to go. So what we did was we were going to work on those little metal pieces on the ceiling to um, hold up these panels a little bit better. We were going to go to the store and get, get a big long strip of metal, cut it all down, put it up. And then I said, you know something, let me look and see what I got. Let me look at some, in all my little bits and bobs of stuff that I have. Um, I found these little plastic things. These, they're, they're, I don't even know what they are, but they were about this long and I had six of them. Rock hard plastic. I have no idea what they are, <laughs> but when I come across something like this, I just keep them and I say one day I might need them for something. And I did. We thought these would be perfect because they're white. So I don't have to paint anything and they could just go right up and hold the, um, the panels up. So what we did was we cut them to the right size, drilled a hole in the center of it, drilled a pilot hole in the metal, and then put a self-drilling screw um, in here, right through the metal, and then just lined it up so that it, so that it kept the, um, uh, the panels in place. So come on over here and look at the ones we did. So here's one right here. So it just, just take, like it's probably a quarter of an inch, maybe a half an inch, half an inch. There's one here, there's one right here, and there's one right here. And in my view, you really hardly even see it. You don't even really see them. They're not in the way. They're not in the way. And I will never have to push, push these up again. So they were never going to fall. They weren't even drooping down. They would, when, they, when I said they would droop, they would droop maybe like a half an inch. So they weren't a problem, except that I just kept pushing them up. I kept re-sticking them up. And re every time I'd come back here, I'd be like, oh, got to stick them up again. I don't have to do that anymore. It's over. It's over. So if you come over this side, so you'll see that there's, I have one right here, one right here, and one right here. We had decided on this one, we just needed three. Um, 
and then we had that little space also in my in my all my junk i found these little rubber things i don't even know like really what they are or where they came from but i just had them and i said oh i wonder if they'll fit right up there and that took up the space that picks up the the, the slack there because this rib is different than this rib this rib is more recessed this one this one comes down a little bit so i just put one of those little rubber things right there right here and here and one on this one and then what we decided to do for this um i really wasn't crazy about the idea but actually it turns out that he was right <laughs> uh, what else is no i was going to put those l brackets right here to hold this up and he said all we need to do is put shims up here so what we did was we we got a shim he said, we just need to shim this to this because that will just hold that up. So we put a shim here, 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 and here. And what we did was we put a little dab of Gorilla Glue on the top of each one. So when they were shoved in, now they're glued in. That is not coming down. That's not coming down. So that is, um, that is going to... Um, take care of that whole panel. So now I have absolutely no more sagging of anything. This isn't going to fall again. Those aren't going to fall again. And that makes me really happy. Yeah, I know what I'm saying. So another thing I updated was, uh, remember I did this drawer and I put these old blinds that I saved because I had, I had some uh, blinds upstairs and uh, I had to take some blinds out because they were too long. So I just saved the blinds because I was like, I'll use them someday. So I just, I just duct taped them in here. And these are all my slots for my supplements. But on this drawer here, something that was driving me crazy was that right here is where I keep my cutting board and my scale. And this is where I keep all my utensils. And these would always, like if I had my cutting board and my scale out at the same time all the cutlery would be everywhere so i'd have to always push everything over to put my scale and my cutting board here so i just did the same thing with this and i just gave it a little slot in the middle so this is my breakfast bowl my breakfast always fits in this bowl i don't need a big ass bowl for my breakfast my breakfast isn't big ass my breakfast is medium ass um so now i keep all my utensils on one side so yeah isn't that cool? Cool as a jewel. So another little tweak that I did was uh, what was happening is right here where I keep my stove, what was happening is it was, it was tipping in like this. It was tipping in against the refrigerator. And then it would, it would be like, like on its side a little bit. And I wanted to stay straight. So I took another one of those blinds <laughs> and I put some alien tape on that side, alien tape on the other side to actually just make a little wall right between the fridge and the stove. So now I pull, push that in and that's not going to start to tip in. The bottom was tipping in all the way here. And, and then I would have to straighten it out again when I was taking the fridge in and out. So now that's going to stay there. Easy breezy. So the other thing was the shoe storage. So if you remember my great idea of that plastic bucket, and we were going to just screw it on the, uh, on the side of the, um, this thing. And Bob says, nope, that's not what we're going to do. I got a better idea. So he built me this shelf. <laughs> Look at this shelf he built me. It's the best thing because it has a small access here, but there's all space up here. So watch this. So I put this like this, the, this pair of sandals goes in and up. This goes in and up. Well, the sneakers can go down here. The sneakers can go here like that. I can fit, and then I can also fit my slippers right here. And I can fit like two more pair of shoes here. I could fit two more pair of shoes in. How cool is that? It's the best. It's the best thing. 
And then um, I just love how everything can just go up here and I can just see the bottom of each of each pair of shoes and I can fit um, four, five, six, including the slippers. I am so happy with that. That is the best. Okay, so, um, you know, I had my idea and with the with the plastic bucket, it would have been fine. But with his idea, I'm able to take one more pair of shoes because that was only going to hold like four. And this is more like five or maybe even six, maybe even six. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, it, it's just it, it was uh, it was worth the um, the time that it took him to make that. We just made it with scraps of wood and he just made this little lip on it right here. So everything would stay, it wouldn't slide out. And uh, he put this leg on it for a little bit of support. So yeah, so there you have it. There you have that. So that's going to be wonderful. One more thing. And last but not least, the bed, this side needed to be raised a little bit because this was not sliding in and out is easy anymore because the bed was starting to droop a little bit because of my body weight. So I measured a piece of wood from here to a half an inch over here. So I knew it would be the right height. And I just lifted up the bed. I just, whoops. I just lifted up the bed and shoved this leg right in there. And then when Bob came over, he put these two screws in. So those screws are holding that leg right there and it brought, it just brought it up just enough. It didn't make anything else wonky because it was just a tiny, tiny bit, just a tiny bit, but just enough so that I couldn't take this in and out. My food, my, that was, that was, that's my food pantry. So that problem is solved. So those are the changes. I'm really, really happy about them. My friend Bob is a very smart guy and he's a very good friend and he was right there to help me. Um, and he, he loves it. I mean, you can just tell he just really, really enjoys, um, being helpful. He enjoys, um, problem solving like this. And, you know, um, I love doing this stuff and learning. There is just some things I can't, I can't drill through metal. I mean, it's just, it just takes too much muscle to do that. Um, so he did all that. He did all that, but I was like, cutting all the little, um, those little plastic pieces. I was cutting them on the chop saw and I was pre-drilling everything, pre-drilling them, putting the self tapping screw in it. And then, um, so I was like a really great assistant <laughs> and it was just really fun. We had a fun day. We did it all in like four hours today. Um, and I'm just, I'm just so grateful. I'm so grateful for, um, having somebody in my life that's so helpful and so kind. So I'll say goodbye for now. Until next time.